Peace, everyone. Jazz the medium here. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, so I figured I'd put a few videos out. Today, I would like to speak about ways to tap in spiritually. I get this question a lot um, after I connect with people. They always ask how to tap in. So I just thought of maybe three simple ways that um, you can do. Let's start with number three. Number three is read books. Find books on spirituality or any aspect of spirituality that you're drawn to, whether you're drawn to a specific branch of spirituality or if you're drawn to a specific spiritual practice, um, find your book and read the book. Make sure that you take notes and read about the subject. That is where I started was reading books. The second thing that you can do is start journaling. Get you a journal or you can use like your phone or you can use your electronic device, whatever you feel comfortable with. Also, there's journal apps that you can use too, but get in the habit of journaling daily. So like write down how you did that day or how you felt that day, how you feel the next day, or if you want to document your spiritual practices and how you're growing every day or any conflicts you have and how you resolve them, whatever you feel the need to journal about, you can just write them all down in your journal. That's a good way to do that as well, especially with your spiritual experiences. Recently, I had went back and read some of my old journal entries, and I, I didn't realize how much I had grown from a few years ago versus today until I actually looked and read my journal entries. So journaling is very good. It's also a way to let out harbored emotion. So if you have anything brewing or anything that you're holding on to, instead of waiting until they build up to become explosive, find a, a, a healthy way of letting them out in writing in a journal is a great way. Even if you have to write a letter to somebody that hurts you or something, just write it down and if you want to dispose of it, you can. I just keep my journal entries as a log that it just kind of gives me a pathway of how I got from here to here. So everyone's different. Number one, the most important thing that you can do, in my opinion, is to meditate. Start meditating. Um, if you are a beginner, you can start with 10 to 15 minutes a day. You really don't need more than that, but you can. I know people who meditate all the way up into an hour or two hours. It just depends on what spiritually you feel like you need. So get into the habit of meditating. Um, you want to either sit up straight with your back straight, or if you want to lay down, just make sure your back is straight. Focus on your breathing. Taking deep breaths helps you to go into a meditative state. Um, I like to either listen to um, alpha binaural beats or I also like to listen to like nature sounds, especially water. The water kind of helps me to relax. So fine. And some people, they just like silence. So find whatever you like to do or a good time to meditate and start meditating. That's also a great way to tap in. That's To me, that is like the best way to tap in is to meditate. Um now, the most important thing with all three of these things is to establish a routine. Do them every day. And as you do them every day, you'll build yourself up every day. And then you'll start to be able to become more in tune to read yourself better because a lot of the answers that we need, we're already born with them. We already know them. We just have to learn how to access those that information. So if you like this video and you want to see more of my videos, you can click the like button and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like to reach me for any of my services, my website is www.jazzthemedium.com. You can also email me at jazzthemedium at gmail.com. I hope you all have a wonderful day. It is February the 15th, so we got a big old snowstorm out here going on. So I hope you guys are safe. Peace. Thank you.